So I was not expecting this update to be this early, but here it is, the official One UI 4.1 on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. It comes with plenty of new features, from photos and camera upgrades, to customization features, to some useful tricks. These are my top 10 picks for you. Let's start with customizations. Number 1 is an AR Doodle feature that you can use on the AR Zone app. Now you can create 3D stickers from real world objects laying around your house and also animate them. From the app, choose AR Doodles, point the camera to your object and choose this cube icon. The app will scan it and suggest some animations. And now you have an animated real object. This works great on simple small objects like this ball or this pen, but for more complicated stuff like a phone, the results are not usable. Next is the smart widget, and this is following Apple's steps. Now you can set multiple widgets in the same screen area, so you can scroll between them and see different infos. For example, you can see your calendar, the weather, and smart things scenes in the same widget. You can set this up by long pressing the home screen, selecting widgets, then smart widget, and choosing from the available sizes. Once done, you can select which app widget to add from the settings, and you can add up to 7 widgets at the same time. This is nice to declutter your home screen. And the third customization feature is the new color palette. You know what? I'll skip it. It's all over YouTube. Let me show you the camera and photo related features. The first interesting update is on the camera app's photo and video pro modes. Now you can use all phone lenses in this mode the ultra-wide, the wide, the 3x telephoto, and the 10x telephoto, all from which you will get raw photos that you can edit on your favorite photo editor. You also have this level bar here that helps you make sure your photo is straight. Always with photos with number 5. Now for photos that you did not take in portrait mode, you can actually add portrait effect to them from the gallery, and this only works when a human face is detected. Just open the photo, tap the three dots here, and choose Add Portrait Effect. Then you can adjust the background blur and save it. Next is a very useful quick share feature that you can use with photos. So besides sending photos between Galaxy devices, you now can share them via a link that's accessible for even non-Galaxy users. Let's say you want to send some photos and videos from your gallery without them losing quality. You can select the photos you want to send, tap share and choose quick share, then share in an app, then select copy link. Now just send that link to your contact and if they don't have a Galaxy device, they can open it and download the photos with the original quality from the Samsung cloud. Keep in mind that the link will expire in 48 hours. Now let's jump into the utility and daily use new features. Number 7 is a feature I've been waiting for. Finally, we can now set a notification alert when the Galaxy Smart Tag is left behind. So if you have a Galaxy Smart Tag, you can choose it in the SmartThings app, tap the view map and activate notify when left behind. You can also add a safe place address like your home from which you don't receive a notification when you leave the Smart Tag there. Number 8 is battery protection. Under the settings, Battery and device care, battery, more battery settings, you can activate the new protect battery toggle, and this will limit the maximum battery charge at 85%. This is nice to have if you recharge your phone overnight in order to avoid repetitive full charging. If you use Samsung's keyboard, this new feature lets you customize on which app you get word suggestions. This way you can activate and deactivate word suggestion depending on the app you use. You can set this up under the keyboard settings, suggest text correction, manage apps, and choose the apps you want to get suggestions on. And last but not least is RAM Plus. Now on top of your existing RAM, Let's say 12 gigs as I have on this phone, you can add extra virtual RAM by reserving it from the phone's internal storage. This comes handy in case you have some heavy tasks to perform and need extra memory. You can add virtual RAM from the settings, battery and device care, 
memory and select RAM plus. Then choose from 2, 4, 6 or 8 gigs of virtual RAM. So these were my topics, tell me which was your favorite and as usual thank you for watching and catch you guys in the next one.